Good morning, Kevin here, and I've just started another walk, and I'm on one part of Midhurst Common. I haven't walked this bit for a long time, so I thought I'd do it today. So I'm heading up this way. I've just come along the 286, the A286, and heading up here to my right hand side, there are gardens to some big houses. I did do a walk yesterday with Cynthia, but I didn't do a video with her, so it was just took a camera out. It is really cold today. I don't know what the temperature is, it's got to be minus two or three I thought I'd have thought. But yeah, very cold. I've got mittens on. But not, it's not helping much because my fingers are really cold. But as you always get, the lovely bird song. This is my first point where I've got to make a decision of which way to go. So, to my left, that's going down to where the kids have been building cycle ramps and things like that, but rubbish dumped everywhere which is such a shame. So I'm going up this way. And I think this leads me up onto uh, Karen Lane Recreation Ground, which I'm surprised I'm there already. So what I will do, I think I can only go to my left hand side I don't think there's any footpaths that go up through the top. Actually, I might have a look up that way, just for a change. Let's see what we got up there. Just over here, we've got Karen Lane Cemetery. And I've just had a quick walk around a little bit of it. It's huge, it's an absolutely massive graveyard. Anyway, I'm still walking up this bit onto the common. As you can see, signposts leading all over the place. But I'm going to head up this way and see where this leads me to. I'm actually just heading onto the common. And there's this notice board here. Midas Common in the heart of the South Downs National Park and all part of Keldry Estate. So this is the common, and I'm there. So I'm heading up that way, I think. But we'll see which way it all takes us to. It gives you a little bit of information about the former LSWR station at Midhurst. They've got a night jar here. Broad body chaser. And it says about the Heathland in South Downs National Park. As with any part of Midhurst Common, you get laurels, rhododendrons, spreading like wildfire across the common, although there is an attempt again to try and get it all under control but it's a, an ongoing battle to, uh, to do anything about it. So I think, walking along here, there must be some private residences somewhere. Oh yeah, it's one just to my right, uh, left hand side. And it's called the Cherries. Just down in there. I wanted to get out early today, or earlier, 
so I want to try and get some a little bit of shopping done and make some tomato soup today and I've got a lot of things to do with the YouTube channel uh, and my Kevin's Rambles group which we set up a couple of weeks ago and we've already got 95 or 96 group members which is fantastic but uh, like anything we want to grow try and grow these things get them a bit bigger right come to a bit of a crossroads I've got to go I can go that way or I can go that way so I think I'm gonna head up that way and just see where this all takes me to <laughs> Well, this is really interesting because the amount of times I've walked on Midas Common, especially over the last two years, and I've never been on this bit before. Now, I'm just about to head downhill. So, I can hear the, the sound of traffic away to my right-hand side. Now I'm guessing that that is the A272 that takes you through to Rogate from Midhurst. Now then, do I go to my right or carry on to my left hand side? Hmm, if you go down, you've got to come back up at some point. So let's see what where this takes me to I've got I'm really guessing here if this might be bringing me out at the very top end of Midas Common not far from the viewpoint but I'm not sure I will find out very quickly I think the viewpoints up here to my left hand side But, ah, now then, do I go? I think that's the bit of land clearing that I saw the other day down there. Hmm, let me see. There's a footpath post down here, a sign. Not a finger post, just with arrows on. And once I get to the bottom of here, I think I'll know where I am. He says, hopefully. Oh yeah, I do, I know where I am. Yep. Yeah, the viewing point is up to the, up to, oh, I've got, I've got my beard stuck in my zip. That hurt. So the viewing point is up here. So let's have a wander up there and have a look. Yesterday, I walked down this slope today I'm walking up it we've got to be careful on these roots though look at them up 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 I go up 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 oh Phew, blimey that's it to climb right I'm near this nearing the top better got some level ground to walk on Thank you. 
Well, I'm just walking down the edge, the, the right hand edge of Midas Common with my, with the viewing point up the top there. So anybody that knows this common will know where I am. I've just been having a look at where they're clearing between all the fir trees. And um, they've got, a lot of trees still earmarked, I think, for felling. They're all, they've all got red and white tapes mark, uh, wrapped around them. So I'm assuming they're going to be the next ones to be felled. And there has been a lot of trees felled here on Midas Common, but also across uh, Severals Lane in several's forest so they're certainly doing a lot of maintenance work clearing the uh, some of the trees out thinning them out which is good it'll let more light in but I'll be like a broken record here and say I just don't like the way they leave all the rubbish from where they cut the trees laying on the ground i personally don't think there's any need for it whatsoever but hey ho what do i know i was only a member of a family that felled trees had a sawmill made fencing and they would never leave the off cuts lying in the, on the ground they would always burn them up and that went on for i don't know 40 years or more um while the business was owned by the family and it never did the insects any harm it really didn't but that's just me i don't know i might be completely wrong as i've said before yes some insects species have died out but I believe almost as many have been found well this is that horrible pond stagnant pond and I think the water comes down off the off the, the common and just lays here it's horrible and it just filters its way through because this is all peat this is all peat land on um, soil on top but sand underneath, very valuable sand underneath. In excess of four million tonnes of it on Midas Common and the Severals, which is what Viscount Keldry wanted to dig up. But thankfully it was turned down, but there was something on Facebook last year someone had put a comment on facebook and someone had commented saying 
that they were still trying to get it through. I suppose in the end, money talks, doesn't it? I don't want to be controversial. Far be it from me to be doing that. So I'm right now at the bottom end of uh, Miller's Common, heading along here. Anybody else that wants to be controversial on any subject, let them do it. I, yesterday, doing a little bit of investigation work, and I've often wondered what this bank is for here. Well, thinking about it yesterday, along the top is where the railway line used to run. And I know after thinking about that yesterday that it's right because just along here as you turn the corner there is some brickwork and I will show you that when I get there and it's where a bridge used to be and I think this is part of what the old line that used to go to Petersfield from Midhurst and it was a busy place with us at one time, the railway. But let me just show you around here. There is evidence. Just turn the corner now. And... Oh, why don't we show you where the brickwork is? Now then. Just here. Is brickwork there and over here there's more brickwork there and if I come down here I saw some brickwork here yesterday just there and also just up in there so this little cut through is where the bridge the bridge was. Such a shame it's not still here. Hang on, it's a little bit more there where the brickwork used to run out from the, the bridge. But that's where it was. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna climb this bank. And it is quite steep, so hopefully I can get up there without sliding all the way back down again. So I am now on top of what would have been the old railway embankment and the railway line would have run, where's the brickwork? There, straight through there. And if I turn straight round and it would run along here there is a, an old sand pit to the left hand side but that's where it would have run all the way along here it's not somewhere I can walk through very easily as you can see but that's where it was ran all the way through here and then when you get to the end of this you would be right where the station used to be although it is still still although it is overcast now it's still very cold and i don't know if the camera will pick this up or not but it's still a lot of frost on the trees the little silver birch saplings all through there all covered in frost so i'm now walking along this bit of the path And as I mentioned a little bit earlier, away to my left hand side is the old sand pit, which is a very popular area for walkers, dog walkers in particular, because the pond is there and the dogs love to swim in it. 
my daughter comes down here when she's got she's looking after the dog that she had with her ex-husband so there's the pond down there lots of sand on the other side still but this bit down here gets completely flooded after torrential rain so I'm going to carry on along this top path with the pond on my left well thanks very much for joining me on this walk today I'm just heading along the bottom part of uh, Midhurst Common so I'm heading home to a nice hot cup of coffee so if you've, if you've enjoyed it today coming out with me on a walk please follow like and subscribe to my YouTube channel the thumbs up are, are the, probably the most important thing but a subscription would be even better check me out on my Facebook pages uh, Kevin's Rambles page and Kevin's Facebook um, group uh, come along and join us on the group that would be great you can post your videos and your photographs of adventures that you've had just follow the rules Instagram I'm on Instagram so all the social media is there for you to sign into so anyway this will be Kevin and I'll see you on the next one bye bye for now bye bye If you just enjoyed watching Kevin's latest video on his Kevin's Rambles channel, do give him a thumbs up, consider liking and subscribing and that way you'll be kept notified of all future videos, as we are in our right sorrow.